What's going on everyone out there in YouTube world? This is the Fusion Media Hub, episode seven, only here on the Fusion Media Network. I am Jerry Kunith, and as you no doubt have read by the title, we are doing a review of Sonic Colors for the Nintendo Wii, exclusive to the Nintendo Wii. Now, that's very unusual because usually Sonic games, as of late, have been multi-platform. So, let's see how Sonic Team and Sonic the Hedgehog fared on the Nintendo Wii exclusive and go right to our review with Fusion Media Network's guru of everything Sonic, Mr. Digital Heart, Joey, you're on. What's up, YouTube? Hello, and welcome to another Fusion Media Hub review by me, Digital Heart. Today I will be reviewing another classic of mine, one of the best games in the world. Okay, maybe not. In my opinion, it's a freaking awesome game. In my opinion. Now relax, watch, and enjoy this review of Sonic Colors. Being a huge ass Sonic fan, even I know that Sonic Colors is Sega's way of waving the white flag. After a decade of expanding the scope of the series with gimmicks, cutscenes, and basically an over expanding cast of characters, Sonic Team has finally ducked down and gave us every Sonic, what every Sonic fan needs and wants. And as it turns out, it's not a bad game either. The Hedgehog's latest outing is as pure as platforming gaming experiences can get. And one that gives me flashbacks to 2007's Mario Galaxy. It may seem silly to compare these, uh, this Sonic game to like, one of the biggest games of the century. But I am that impressed and with the creativity and energy that went into the design of Sonic Colors. The main gimmick of Sonic Colors is the tiny wisps that replace the tiny critters in which Sonic typically rescues from Dr. Eggman. As with many, many games of Mario, these aliens just grant Sonic a raft of powers which can be used to navigate through a variety of obstacles in his path. The nature of Sonic demands that these powers are quick, sharp and literally one-time use abilities. With these powers, Sonic can become a living laser, a rocket ship, or literally anything that, uh, well, well, whatever the moment is, it can be it. The new powers have allowed Sonic designers to be more creative with their levels, and they really don't shrink from that challenge. While Sonic Colors is a 3D game, I spent better half than my time working from a 2D perspective. This is typically the perspective where the powers are allowed to shine. And the 3D stages are built as good as the stages that, are, that were in Sonic Adventure 2, which is by far one of the best Sonic games out there. But bouncing off walls in 2D, rocking up the tower, rocking up the tower in 2D, and even drilling beneath the foes is where Sonic Colors is at its best. The story is just like any other Sonic game, but enhances it greatly. Dr. Eggman has created a huge theme park in which Sonic's curious and just wants to investigate. With, with Tails, yes, just Tails. They have rescaled the characters a lot with just Sonic and Tails, in which most Sonic uh, Sonic fans would love and enjoy. And uh, they made the story so much greater with just Sonic and Tails, and adds a lot of comedy with the new voice actors and everything. It's, it is really good and fun for many ages. Dr. Eggman has enslaved alien creatures called Wisps and chained their planets to his uh, space station. This gives Sonic Team the excuse to make beautiful, beautiful looking resorts and an amazing space scenery. Talking about the space scenery and graphics, this is probably one of the best graphics I've ever seen in a Sonic game plus a Wii game. You only see the graphics for a split second, but you can tell how much detail has been put into it. They have so many um, different levels and uh, gravity, if you can call it that. Uh, one time Sonic's in space, one time in the Seen uh, when he's in the casino, another time he's on a beat, another time he's just on a planet. And you can tell how much creativity the Sonic team have actually got and how much they've put into it from people. Thanks to added dimensions brought to the new powers, slim down presentation, amazing graphics, story, and voice acting, Sonic Colors is a fine example of a modern platforming title and probably one of the best Sonic games out there. Personally, Sega has put out many Sonic games that are terrible, i.e. Sonic the Hedgehog of 6, Sonic and the Secret Rings, but some of them were not too shabby, just like Sonic and All-Star Racing, Sonic 4, but honestly, 
they have saved Sonic Colors to last. And that saying, best for last, i.e. the soundtrack, the stage levels, everything. Even destroying robots sounds good, so I'm going to give this a 9. Graphics, I've already said, they are amazing, so I'll give that uh, 8. And gameplay, probably one of the best gameplays of Sonic. It's basically Sonic Unleashed without the Werehog, so another 8. Overall, I will give this amazing Sonic game a 8.5. Hope you all enjoyed. Fusion Media Hub, out. And Digital Heart, out. And thank you, Joey, for that excellent review, as always. And a very solid score for a very solid Sonic game. And you know, you never would have imagined to see Sonic exclusively on a Nintendo console, especially when you think back to the heyday of when the Super Nintendo and the Genesis were going head to head. And it's just, it's astonishing how things change. And you know, they coupled together great, so it's all good. And before I wrap it up for this episode, I would like to mention that we have a new network member here in the FMN, DC Kingdom 09 Annotation. Check out his channel, or subscribe to him. He is going to be doing some Let's Plays for the network. It is going to be spectacular. And as always, rate, comment, and subscribe here on the Fusion Media Network. And if you want to be a director, drop me a personal message. We'll discuss it further. And that wraps it up for this episode of the Fusion Media Hub for everyone here in the Fusion Media Network. We'll see you next time.